we are going to start talking about different classification models and start with a majority baseline model. To recap about what supervised learning is, uh, the goal is to learn a classification model or a classifier from labeled instances so that you can predict labels for unseen instances. Uh, it consists of two phases. Rather than training phase, you are learning a model based on the training data. And the testing phase, you test or evaluate the model on unseen data. So uh, let's start with an example of buying health insurance. You uh, are in the market to buy health insurance and you are asking friends of yours whether they have bought health insurance and what their characteristics are, what their features are, how similar are they to you. Uh, and based on that, you're going to make that decision. Uh, in this exercise, you uh, have collected information from 14 of your friends. Okay, so there are 14 data instances. Each one has four different uh, characteristics that you are collecting. Their age, their income, uh, whether they are student or not, and what is their health condition. And you also know their label, their, uh, their decision that they did for themselves. Uh, and that is in this bias column, right? Uh, this is a binary classification task. The buys column is a binary column, right? Uh, and you, uh, in fact, all of these are categorical features. Uh, so all columns, so health condition, there are only two possible options. Either the health condition is fair or excellent. Whether the person is student or not, again, is a binary uh, feature. Uh, income and age are uh, three levels, are, are, are categorical uh, features, but have three possible values each. So for income, it can be low, medium, or high. Uh, and for age, even though it's actually a number, you have split it as less than or equal to 25, between 26 and 40, and greater than 40. So again, that is a three-way uh, Kind of a categorical variable okay so this is important that even though this particular table has six columns uh, the first column really is an id so that cannot be really used for uh, for training purposes um, there are four features age income student and health condition uh, that are the four uh, independent variables and the label is this last column bias okay now that you have this, um, uh, the so the data here is individuals who have or have not bought health insurance. The, te uh, the task is to predict whether uh, a new individual would buy health insurance. The features that you have uh, chosen to uh, that you think are relevant for this task are age, income, whether the person is a student or not, and health condition. Our first baseline model is going to be a yes model, which means that uh, even without really knowing uh, what your friends have done, you say that I will al they always I, I will always buy insurance. Okay, so so if your model is a is a yes model, that means a model that always would uh, uh, return yes, no matter what kind of input you get. For the yes model, for the same task of 14, so this would be your uh, your, your model you have already decided. So the training is really uh, uh, um, naive training, so to say. I mean, you don't really train anything. You're just always going to say yes. So the predicted label, no matter what uh, the actual uh, features are, is always going to be yes, right? But now you can see how well this particular classifier is. You already have their labels, right? The bias column. And then you have this predicted label. So you see, of these, only a few match, right? Uh, for the third friend, uh, they bought insurance and your predicted model was also saying that they bought insurance because it said yes for everything, right? But then the, for the first and second, they actually did not buy insurance. So those are going to be error cases for you. But if you count up, uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine instances out of 14 where your model matched the actual label so for this model the if your accuracy is your uh, performance measure if your uh, performance measure is accuracy then your um, model is 9 over 14 correct that means so accuracy is the number of correct 
classifications divided by total number of test instances. In your model, there are 14 test instances. And in this case, this is test because you really did not have any training phase. You always say yes, right? Um, so you are applying all, uh, that model on all 14 instances uh, and nine of them were correct. So 64.29%. On the other side, if your model was always no model, okay, so, so no matter what the input is, we are never going to buy insurance. Uh, and you still use accuracy as your performance measure. What would be the accuracy? You can go back and check how many instances were, um, were no, right? One, two, three, four, five. Or you could say that uh, well, if uh, nine of them were yes, five out of 14, the remaining would be no, right? In either case, your, your accuracy is 35.7%. Great. So if you had chosen as a baseline, a yes model, your accuracy would be 64% without really doing any learning. Uh, and the other option would have been an always no model. And that uh, would have given you an accuracy of 35.7%. So the, um, the data-driven approach now, so suppose you knew the data set when, when you create a model, you could choose the majority class. Uh, so in this case, majority class happens to be the yes class. So if you so that would be the majority classifier. So you look at the data now and say, oh, in this data set of 14, a random choice would have been uh, seven correct and seven uh, seven yes and seven no. But because you have more instances uh, among your friends who have bought insurance, your uh, preferred label would be a yes model, right? So the majority baseline here would be yes. So the key takeaway here is a uh, majority class baseline is a data driven baseline, which corresponds to the classifier that gives you the least error or highest accuracy. Uh, it's usually a, a simple baseline model, but it is good to spot check a more complex classification model. Suppose you had a more complex model that gave you an accuracy of 60%. That is worse than actually having a naive model that always says yes, or uh, looking at the, the larger class, right? Which was 64% in our case. Um, so so you uh, you can almost kind of check that baseline models should be like the bot, the, the lower bound on what your uh, more complex models should be.